So just press through this pull mode button until you get to manually off, then press the maintenance button. This will take you through a number of features, but I want you to press next until you get to install, then press the middle button. This will now take you through the steps to install the product correctly. So you can already see we have our pH and we have our ORP or chlorine probes installed and they've been detected. So that's good, we go to the next step. Here we have the option to turn off or turn on the timer. We'll leave it enabled, but to turn it off you just up and down the arrows here and select which option you want. Fast comms should always be enabled, if you, especially if you're connecting it to a control system or to a Viron Evo pump. The next step's important if you're using a Viron Evo pump, pump. You must make sure that the three speed pump is enabled and accept. AI mode is your artificial intelligence mode. This is what really makes the unit stand out amongst everything else. So we need to make sure that that is installed and click yes there. It will ask you then what size pump. We have a 320, so one horsepower. If you have a 600, you would select two horsepower. Very important you set the pool water to as accurately as you can. At the moment it's factory default to 60,000. We have a 50,000 litre pool, so you just reduce this down. Then click accept. Spa volume. If you have a spa, put the water volume in. If not, just skip through that by pressing accept. Continue setup here. We'll say no and exit out of there.